Okay, here's our killer dip before we've added any cheese. We've got our cheese all in chunks here ready to go. Uh, but once again, we fried down the ground meat a little bit till it was um, pretty much done. Then dropped my onions in there. I used two small onions. I, um, I dropped my three to four tablespoons of chopped up jalapenos into that. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Cook that down maybe, I don't know, five, ten minutes, stirring frequently. Just keep those onions and jalapenos cooking in the meat. Added my taco seasoning packet to that. Uh, poured a little jalapeno juice on top of that and then added my rotel, added my can of corn, added my, um, I used one fresh jalapeno chopped up really small and a um, can of green chilies and if I didn't say that already and um, about a half a jar of salsa, your favorite salsa. I did go ahead and use two cans of rotel, throw you two cans of rotel in there and my can of cream of mushroom soup and I put it turn my fire down now to uh, I guess about uh, medium uh, low there I've got it here on my on my dial about there uh, and I am just gonna let this bubble for a little while I want that corn to cook real good get this good and hot so it melts the cheese easily and we just uh, you don't have to cook this long because the, once the meat's cooked uh, all the other ingredients are, are ready for the most part. The corn is just, you don't want to fry the corn down too too long in the um, concoction because they get a little tough and a little chewy. Um, you don't want to need necessarily cook them down and or fry them down in the uh, oil. You know, I use a little olive oil before I put my meat in the pot so that um, the meat wouldn't stick quite so bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, cook that for a little while, just let it, you know, cook. Uh, again, I added chili powder, salt, pepper, a little cumin, uh, season it with some of your favorite Mexican spices. Uh, you see I've got a slow bubble going here. I'm just going to keep stirring that and let that uh, all cook together for maybe maybe 15 minutes, another 15 minutes or so. Then I'll start dropping in these chunks of Velveeta cheese here. And the reason I went with two cans of the Rotel is because I wanted it to a little runny, as you can see, because the cheese certainly is going to thicken it up but uh, it's not that runny I guess you can say but uh, I had enough space for it um, Rotel gives it a good kick as we know so uh, this is just kicked up Rotel dip basically what it is with a whole lot of extra stuff in it so uh, we make these during all the football games it's a huge hit everybody just loves it you gotta be careful with those jalapenos you can really kick it up too much and uh, be a little too spicy but uh, if you're here to drink some beer and watch a good football game then certainly this will light you up if you, uh, you want to make it a little hotter you can certainly buy hot salsa or you get uh, uh, use more jalapenos or a little cayenne pepper in your um, in your concoction here to, to kick it up a notch you, you, you know, season it to taste uh, but all these ingredients do come together nicely and make for a really good dip we call it killer dip it's good stuff